Hello guys, so this is a tutorial on how to make um, hair using transparency maps. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to create a brush to basically just draw the hair. And then we're going to bring that back to Maya and attach it to some geometry that we're going to duplicate. And that's going to make it look like we have created some hair. So this is the model that I'm going to be using. Now if I go here to see how it's going to look, so we can see that the, the transparency map, you can basically just create the illusion that you have made some hair. This is how it's going to look once we're done. Okay, so I'm just going to delete these so we can get started. So I have my model here. Uh, it's just a little dense, but it doesn't matter how dense it is. Um, let's just work with it. So select faces. And so what we're going to do is just select the let's select a few faces from the head. Okay. So I'm just going to select all these. Maybe over here. Let me get these as well. Okay. Let me just get these other. Let's get some more faces. Okay. So now what we're going to do is just go to Edit Mesh and we're going to look for the duplicate face duplicate face okay, you want to select it, just use the blue arrow blue arrow, ok just to separate a little bit from the the actual mesh ok so this is a separate object now now this is a little dense so I'm just going to delete some of the edge loops just go to edit mesh, delete edge vertex and I'm just going to hit G I'm just going to keep doing that because it doesn't have to be too dense. I'm just going to move some of the edge loops. I'm just going to use the slide edge tool and use the middle mouse button and that slides that edge loop along the, the existing geometry, basically. Using the middle mouse button I'm using the slide edge tool. You could just move those by hand if you wanted to as well. Okay, so that's looking good. Alright, so now we're gonna go to window in the UV texture editor. So we're gonna create the UVs for this for the hair, basically. So mine has already made the UVs for my for the girl, but I'm just gonna delete those so that the hair strips don't have UVs. So I'm just gonna create those from scratch. Okay, so now I go to create UVs and just click on the planar mapping. I'm gonna click on the options just to reset everything up. Okay. So we're gonna get these. I'm going to unfold. I'm just going to reset and everything. Okay. Okay, so unfold and then we're going to polygons and layout. Now click on this icon to select the object basically. And I'm just clicking E to rotate. I'm just move W to move it more where I want it to. So now I'm just going to select the UPs technically. These are not birds, but UPs. So I'm going to select those. I'm going to and I'm going to click on that arrow just to make that a straight line. And I'm going to do the same with the other, basically, um, the edge loop, basically. Click on that arrow. 
because we want this to be straight. So we can draw the hair and oh, I'm also gonna click on this. Just to make it more easily visible. Now so at the top. And this time I'm gonna click on the one that has that's the arrow pointing up. up. Okay. I'm gonna delete one more edge loop. I don't think I need this one. Just going to edit mesh, delete edge vertex. Okay. Maybe that one too. This one's not straight. Okay. I'm gonna select this the whole thing and just scale it. Scale this thing up. And you could basically make it as big as you wanted to. I mean, in theory, it's better if you, the more space it occupies, the better, because the more pixels it's going to be using. I'm not really going to worry about that right now. So, I mean, you could scale it up all the way to cover the whole um, quadrant. But I'm just going to leave it up. I'm just going to leave it this way for now. Good. So make sure you select the object, and now we're going to go to polygons, and we're going to go all the way down to UV snapshot, and I'm going to set it to a 1024, and you can choose where where to save this at. I'm just going to choose a location here. I'm going to save this as in as a Maya IFF that IFF. Make sure you set it to Maya IFF. I like that. I prefer that when I'm in Photoshop. Okay, so now we're done from my in Maya. Now let's open up Photoshop and we're going to File Open and just find that file that we just saved. So I'm just going to create a new layer. Move it down and just hit. You can hit Alt Delete to fill that up with the foreground color. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay. So that we can see the basically the UVs. Okay, so I'm not I'm gonna show you how to make the brush, the hair brush. So basically I'm just gonna choose a a hard brush opacity set to hundred percent, flow to hundred percent. So I'm gonna make a new layer and on that new layer just just click once to create these dots. Okay. So I'm going to select now the marquee select. The rectangular marquee select, basically. And just select that. Okay. So now go to, I believe it is edit. And define brush preset. You can name it whatever you want to. I'm just going to name it hair. Control D to deselect, and now, now we want to use that brush that we just created. So you can just go to I believe this window uh, brush presets, I believe, and it's going to be all the way down. It's going to be the last one. That's the last one. This is the one you just created. That's how it looks. Okay, so click here, and I'm using a pen and tablet. And I think it's better if you do that, and then setting setting this to pen pressure, and I can click on these, and also set the opacity to pen pressure. I think it's better if you're using a mouse. Uh, you might not get the best results, but you can try that. So I'm just gonna close this in. Okay, I'm just gonna delete that layer. I don't need that anymore and create a new one and set it in the middle. Let's name it here. Okay. So now we're ready to start. So we can just change the color to whatever hair color you're going to be making or using whatever. Okay. So so a few strokes. Um, since I have it set up to band pressure, 
is basically it's going to be based on you how hard you press on the tablet. So it's just going to be um, just uh, draw some strokes and. I think it's a better idea if you use a darker color first and then you come with the highlights on top. So just keep doing that, just a, a few strokes and basically just drawing the hair. I'm not going to make you watch this, this is going to be boring, so I'm just going to speed up the process. So then you come with the highlights, the lighter color. And remember, our hair is not just one color, so it's good to have some different colors and some highlights, uh, it's not all straight either. So once you're done, just you can delete that one with the UVs if you want to. I'm going to do that now. And we're going to channels. And basically, we're looking for the one that has the most uh, contrast. And in this case, it's the red one. So we're going to make a duplicate that layer and I'm going to press Control L to bring up the levels Control L, ok and I'm going to make the lights lighter the whites are going to be lighter maybe not too dark and basically whatever is white is going to show up in Maya whatever is black is not going to show up whatever is grey is going to be in between So now we have that. Uh, as a last step, let's just go to layer and flatten the image. Let's check we still have the that alpha. Basically, that's what it's called, the alpha. So we're gonna save it. Oh, okay. Just gonna save as, and I prefer to save it as a targa. You can choose PSD, but I prefer targas. And make sure you check on the alpha channels. So if, we, if we don't have that, then we did this for nothing. And make sure you have it to 32. Okay, so we're basically done in Photoshop. So we can go back to Maya and we select the no, close that. We select the object and go to material attributes. Or maybe assign the material, sorry. I assigned a Lambert and click on this checker box or to assign the color. Choose file. Click on the folder and you search for that Targa file that we just created. And there you go. Since we we checked the that it was saved with the alpha channel, so we saved that. So whatever was white over there in the alpha is showing up. Whatever was black, it's not showing up. And yeah, basically this is how you would make hair. I mean. It's, Really, that easy. You would just double to to create everything else. You would just all you need to do is duplicate duplicate this object. I just shift D, duplicate the object, and just move it and place it wherever you you want it to to be like. And you're gonna have to move some edges and. And in the end, basically, this is how it's going to look. I just duplicated a bunch of... I just duplicated the same geometry over and over and placed it where I wanted it to in order to make that look that I wanted to create, basically. And, uh, yeah, this is how it's... This is how it's easily done. I mean, I didn't do my best here, but you could do better. Uh, and it doesn't have to be too dense like mine. It's not really so dense. Okay guys, so thank you for watching and if you have any questions just leave the comments below. By the way, uh, if you want to download the file, all the files, the hair, the model, and everything really, uh, just go to my website, uh, the link's down in the description, or or just go to my channel and if you have questions, uh, or if you have any suggestions or anything you, that you would like to know how to make. Okay, thank you guys.